know, I really like those new jeans Jerry was wearing. He's really thin. Not as thin as you think. Why? He's a 31. I saw the tag on the back. The tag, huh? Mm-hmm. Let me tell you something about that tag. It's no 31, and uh, let's just leave it at that. Well, what are you talking about? He scratches off a 32, and he puts in 31. Oh, how could he be so vain? Well, this is the Jerry Seinfeld that only I know. <laughs> I can't believe I just told you that. Why not? Well, Jerry doesn't want anyone to know. Well, it's all right. I'm your fiance. Everyone assumes you'll tell me everything. Where did you get that from? Well, we're a couple. It's understood. I never heard of that. Well, you've never been a couple. I've coupled. I've coupled. Keeping secrets. This is just like your secret bank code. This is totally different. That was my secret. This is Jerry's secret. There's, there's attorney-client privileges here. Well, if I play it by your rule, uh, no one will ever confide in me again. I'll be cut out of the loop. Hey. Hey. What's the matter? I had a fight with Susan. What about? Oh, Clothing something. <laughs> so, uh, what are you doing tonight? I got a date with that girl, Lena. Lena? How'd you meet her? I actually uh, met her a few weeks ago, uh, but... <laughs> so Jerry got Lena's unlisted number from Kramer's AIDS walk list. Monica, Jerry got Lena's unlisted number off of an AIDS walk list. He got her number off an AIDS walk list? <laughs> You met her a few weeks ago, but... I didn't call her till today. <laughs> so, uh, want a double? What? Well, you know, I just had a fight. I need a group dynamic. Oh. Hey, I have found the best smelling detergent. Lena, smell my shirt. Mm, very nice. It's all temperature. <laughs> planet. It's biodegradable and it doesn't pollute the oceans. Yeah, the oceans are really getting very sudsy. <laughs> Can you wrap up all the leftovers on the table, please? I always take the leftovers. I work in a soup kitchen every morning at 6 a.m. Mm. They serve soup at 6 a.m.? Yeah, that's all they have. Do the bums ever complain? Soup again? <laughs> I'd get tired of it. How could you not? Guess who volunteered last week? Mick Jagger. No. Maya Angelou. Oh, the poet. So let me ask you something. These people eat soup three times a day? I don't know. Did you get to talk to her? Talk to who? Is it a lot of cream soups? Maya Angelou, the poet. No, I didn't get the chance. Oh, wow. You know, I'm sure you can reach her. She's a poet, you know? What does a poet need an unlisted number for? I'm going to the ladies' room. I'll go with you. What are you looking at me like that for? But you have to mention unlisted number. What are you talking about? All right, I gotta tell you something, but you cannot tell Susan. Jerry got her phone number off of an AIDS walk list? Oh, that's awful. I know, but don't say anything to anyone. He told me not to tell you. But you told me anyway? Well, you know, I was thinking about what you said before, and you're right, I've never really been a couple, so if that's the rule, I'm and go by the rule. Thank you. So, George. Yeah. Guess what? Lena found out how I got her number. Really? How'd she do that? Uh, a friend of a friend of Susan's. My Susan? Why'd you tell her? <laughs> I had to, Jerry. It's a couple rule. We have to tell each other everything. Well, you know what this means, don't you? What? You're cut off. You're out of the loop. <laughs> You're cutting me off? No, 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 Jerry, don't cut me off. You leave me no choice. You're the media now, as far as I'm concerned. Oh, Jerry, come on, please. It won't happen again. If you were in the mafia, would you tell her every time you killed someone? Hey, a hit is a totally different story. <laughs> <laughs>